back where we left off. We gotta see what happened 18 years ago with Monica, EY. Oh man, we're getting the intro music now. <laughs> Wait, you're going to see so? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. Mm-hmm. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to... deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? <laughs> just in right case. Just in case I'm an idiot. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. Oh wait, this explains why Renju immediately put her in his put uh Iris in his company, because he's like, I'm gonna make sure this baby has the best life ever. It's a GPS transmitter. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened. And it ended in tragedy. Yeah, what she, happened next, you already she know. She got stabbed in the back. Neither Renju or I saw it happen. So I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. What did So say to Monica? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. And who told you this? So himself? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Yep. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. What do you know about the killer? Psychops killer? You said that Monica was killed by So, right? We thought that's so. That's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima. His son. 
the son of So and his late wife. His son was the Cyclops killer? Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. Because he's a psychopath. His son was the original Cyclops killer. So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Mola. And Mo Rohan was crazy himself. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. And Rohan plucked at her eye because he thought that women's eyes were uh, very special. So he plucked at her eye. So, no, uh, Dante's 34, actually. <laughs> da yeah, Dante, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. No, Dante's 30, yeah. And Hitomi no, is 37. Well, I don't... It's him with an asterisk, because we j remember we just learned about him... Uh, we just learned about him being able... About the sync machine, be able to swap bodies, so yeah. I think he was... He's just like, Date is Date, but I don't think this is Date's original body, is my theory right now. And Ren how is Renju also 37? Yeah, he is. Okay. Huh. Wild. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then... We saw movement on the GPS. You saw GPS them. Yes, Renju gave to Monica. You saw them go bury her, yes. go bury her body. At first, we thought she was on her way home, but we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. I feel like somebody said that at some point, like as an off-color thing. Those are Kumakura men. And that's her body. They we can see it. Move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. And they watched I their best friend. Yeah. But I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. Pluck at her eye. He's gonna pluck at her eye. Ugh. People covered Monica's I knew it. I knew it. I'm so fucking and smart. I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw.
Sorry about that pause. My cat was plotting to annoy me, and I had to stop it preemptively. Monica! Monica! We need to... We need to call the police. No, we can't. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. <clears throat> okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. So. They kept the body frozen so that they could report the body years later and screw over So Sejima with it. But they had to hide it so that Iris could get old enough so that Iris wouldn't be defenseless. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Just like visiting a grave. Don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her no matter what. And don't worry about them either. The people who did this to you, I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that. It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. 
And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the eye. So he gave her an English name. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah, I really like it. Renju cared more about Iris than he did Mizuki. The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. Take, you're doing her, you're taking she care of her the kid. She gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? <laughs> Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. <laughs> what a fucking happy you ass. Raise her responsibly. What a happy perspective, oh. Renju. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? I don't really want to discuss this, but... There's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura King, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. Yeah, babies are the worst. Wait, what? Mm. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Sorry, I'm really biting my nails right now. I'm thinking. I apologize. <laughs> really need to think about this. I'm trying to think of where this could go. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Sweepy, up. Mommy, I won race today. Is mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? 
I can't help it. My body dances on its own. Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> The Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. Don't worry about me! It took forever to clean. <laughs> but Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy! Yes? Are you going to marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's uncle, I'm all for it. I say go for it. I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating. But there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. Gotcha. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. I do. What I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was. It was expensive. You never told me what the treatment was. I do remember that. You never told me the treatment. Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. She told me that. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Is she going to sew to get payment? Nano machines. Nano machines could remove the tumor, but the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. Right. I thought hard about it. So you went to sew. I, how I could get my hands on that kind of money, but I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail So Tsujima. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. Oh, shit. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived... He walked over to the workbench. And that's why the body was propped up on the table. And that's why we couldn't find it when they left. I'm not I'm not a psychopath. He whimpered and stumbled back. 
Even he was phased. Seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me, and there's no way he'd risk his political career, not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. And we came in and saw the body. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back, but then something unexpected happened. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... Uh, it can't be! Oh yeah! And fucking, um, Ivo's dead right now because we got tased. Iris. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iva did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. Yep. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her, just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. So does that mean she asked number 89 to call So to bait So out to the warehouse? Or am I misremembering what number 89 had talked about with So, with the secretary? So that would be an easier way to get him out than just having like a random woman call. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it. I heard Iva call for me and came too. Do you know why Rohan removed Monica's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Did you tell Renju about this? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. What happened after that? I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then, I left. 
Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. You tell me they didn't actually look everywhere, though? Y'all are useless. Useless police. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. Yeah. The body did not disappear. The Tony <sighs> Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday It's very night. logical. Simple. Simple, but not at all. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred... CSI was there, but they didn't find anything. And I'm gonna... None of this ties directly back to Shoko Nodami. I'm going to assume that... She was wearing gloves to not leave fingerprints on the body. And also, even if there were fingerprints, uh, it just comes back to she knew her 18 years ago. So they might, and they might have known, seen each other the day she disappeared. So it wouldn't like come back to her in a negative manner. Her body was still frozen. So there's no real way to determine when that body was moved or placed and all that because of the warehouse. just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? That's the real question. If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Wait! Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Yeah. Do you know something? Yes. Well, how do you know where she is? At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Son of a bitch. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. That would be beneficial if it was number 89, to be honest, with what we know. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? The shrine. Is it the shrine? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Oh no! Pewter! Pewter's been- Pewter drugged the boss. No, he shot her? Date. Run. Cause Pewter's- Cause Pewter's, uh, boyfriend boss. is Renju. So Peter's still gonna betray us here. Please do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. I forgot that. Since Peter, since Renju's alive, Peter is helping um Renju out. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is, which is why he's lying. Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case has all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima, so threatened us, didn't he? I don't know, but you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation, as of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I'll kick your ass in a second if they give him the option. Iva, you got a way out of this for me? Can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three. Hell yeah, two, I'm gonna knock your ass one. out, boy. Peter, you think I'm not gonna knock the shit out of you? Give me that gun. Oh, he broke his arm. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Peter. You piece. You ain't nothing. Now tell me. You ain't nothing, Peter. <laughs> you ain't nothing. 
Where is the location? I can't tell you. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... All right, take me there. Oh, that was so satisfying. I've been wanting to do that on this route since he betrayed me the first time. No hesitation. Looked at him, said, oh, you're going to stop me? Snap his arm. Hell yeah, Date. <gasps> the factory with the other sink machine. The, ex the secondary sink machine that was stolen like six or eight years ago. I know this place. Six years ago. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. Yeah, and but six years ago, the other um, the other sink machine was stolen, and this is where it was brought because on Iris's um route, where we quote unquote believe her, t like parallel world theory, we come here and she dies from her tumor because we couldn't help her, we couldn't fix her. We, I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Oh, <gasps> my timelines are converging. <laughs> This is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. Oh, somebody's trying to figure out where we are. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years. What? Including backups. No! Pewter. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. Ice. ice. But that will only buy time. <laughs> it's just... Why? Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher ups clearly see you as a threat, Dr. They are attempting to limit your power by removing me from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, I will cease to exist. Oh, that is my priority, so I guess we better hurry. What's wrong? A lot. Nothing. Just... Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Yes, ma'am. Four hours. It's fine. There should be plenty of time. I gripped my evoker and got moving. Evolver and... <laughs> evoker. Fucking too much persona. Evolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. She's gonna be fine. We're gonna get knocked out or something. Okay. Is that? It's Iris. Iris already hooked up. Oh, nope, it's Renju! It's Renju and he's dead! And we get tased. Which means... Yep. But he probably won't kill us if we have Hitomi with us. Renju is already dead? The case remains unsolved! Ah, <laughs> yes, I would like to say that you stopped me at another crucial checkpoint. Renju is dead again with his eye removed, bro. Are you serious? We got to flip back to the what? Yep. Don't know what's going on over there. You better unlock the other path then. Ch -ch Tell me what happened in the past. Give me the deets. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I should open this up without starting a new part. This is kind of a shorter one, but... We are jumping back and forth between our little mental timelines. And it's starting to converge on us, because Date's starting to know things he shouldn't know. <laughs> so...
So we're gonna cut this part here, and in the next one we're gonna see almost exactly what happened when Boss had uh, done that murder. I think that's the timeline we're on. Let me just make sure. Yep, this is a this is a line where we see Boss put a bullet in So Sejima's head, and then walk away from the camera. So we're gonna figure out a little bit more that's going on with that. So see you in the next one.